After Christmas in 1965, John Lennon's father Alf had made a record called That's My Life, My Love and My Home, released on 31st of December 1965. Tony Cartwright, co-author of the song, began writing the song in inspiration from Lennon's stories that he told. When released, the song saw commercial success, with Maurice Levy of Roulette Records requesting Cartwright to bring Lennon to the United States. Cynthia Lennon wrote in her book, At Christmas 1965, we heard that Alf had made a record under the trendier name of Fred Lennon. That's my life, my love and my home was awful and hugely embarrassing to John, who was furious at his father's blatant jump onto the bandwagon of his own success. He asked Brand to do anything he could to stop it. The song suddenly disappeared from the charts, an action suspected by Cartwright to be executed by his son, John Lennon. I had my suspicions about who was behind it, others accused Brian Epstein, but Epi was my friend and I knew he wouldn't sabotage my record, unless John told him to do it. Why would John wreck his own father's career? Share jealousy and insecurity are the only motives I can guess at. We dropped to Weybridge to confront John, but he slammed the door in our faces. In 1966, Freddie Lennon tried again and issued three singles with the group Loving Kind. These records did not sell well, either. Freddie was heartbroken and immediately gave up the music business. Cartwright wrote, It's brought me nothing but unhappiness, he said. I'd rather go back to washing pots. And so he did. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ringo, folks. Well, what can I say? And goodbye to all of us. Well, this is Ringo. Everyone seems to have said everything here, so I'll just sign off by saying cheerio and best of luck from the Beatles. <laughs>